Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for taking the time every day to stop and spend some time with me. I know it's been quite some time. So if you're new here, I do apologize for the lack of videos, but you guys know the things that have been going on in my life, <laughs> which just gets crazier and crazier. And now they're four wheeling. Okay, first, First off, my neighbors decided that they were going to cut their lawns. So I had to wait for that. And you know, when you're waiting for stuff, you start getting tired. So I'm just going to go with it because if I keep waiting, it's going to be nighttime. I'm already losing my daylight and I live in a very dark place. So we have to get this going. All right, guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much. If you're new here, I would really appreciate if you would consider subscribing and giving a thumbs up, sharing the video. I never ask people to share my video. Um, share my video. This way I get out there and more people can enjoy Dollar Tree hauls. All right, um, I would say that I do Dollar Tree hauls, Dollar Tree DIYs, vlogs, things like that, but I'm not really doing much of that anymore. So I have a whole entire vlog about that. So if you're interested in that, please stay tuned. That will be out probably on Monday because it's a little bit long and I'm trying to keep these short. Anyway, I have three weeks worth of hauling to do. So this is going to be broken up into three parts. So let's just get started with the latest one, which is my favorite, my favorite for my crafting because it has the best crafting aisle of all of them all right and it has the best employees there i did meet a beautiful woman that works there she's such a lovely lady we got into talking and i really enjoy her uh, i do wish i got her name i totally forgot to get her name or read her name tag but i will next time i go there because i want to make sure i can get her in one of my videos she's a lovely lady <laughs> we were laughing and talking and i had a great time so but this dollar tree is my favorite dollar tree it's always been my favorite dollar tree it was actually the dollar tree that i got into the car accident when that tractor trailer hit me <laughs> so i stopped going there for a while because i thought it was bad juju but I'm going back again. So let me get my bag and we will get started. All right, guys. So let me get started with this one thing. All right. Now, this is frosted window film. Now, I I have extremely bright lights in the daytime. Like the sun just pelts in my room in the daytime. So what I'm thinking about doing is I am thinking about doing these to my window however i'm going to stencil them and make some colors and like either paint them or use a marker so that they look like stained glass i thought that would be a fun idea and now this on the side tells you what type it is and so this all they had were these ones they didn't have that beautiful flower one but they did have these so i know i can make like um, a picture and color it with markers and it will look like stained glass. So I think I'm going to do that. If you want to see a project with that, please let me know and I will do that. I did pick up three of these for a dollar. I was going to get four. I should have got four, but I got three. So they were in the sections where the socks were. If you go to Lewiston, they were where the socks are and some of their hangers and things like that. So if you're looking for them, that's the section. And this is really, really cool. Frosted window film, one piece. Very, and it's by the home collection. So good luck finding that. And if you do, let me know what you got. I Hopefully they get more in. All right, I'm going to be bending down, so you know, forgive me, guys. You know what? I'll try not to bend down. All right, I did find some rub-on uh, transfers. I have never seen these ones before. I'm actually repainting my vanity, and I'm thinking about putting some of these little birds on my drawer so that I can see, you know, so I could see it. I, I'm making it look antique, so yeah. Uh, if you have any good videos for me to watch on antiquing furniture, please send them my way. All right. But yeah, I'm loving the birds here and these birds. And I love those hearts. The butterflies are cute too. And the roses. But the teacups wouldn't really go in my room. You know, the, the decor I have. So I'm doing, I'm going to do the, the four birds. All right. Enough of that. Then I got some more material. 
Um, you can't pass up the Dollar Tree material. I mean, a buck for this. I did make a swag for a 4th of July swag out of some material that I saved for months now. So I did make a swag, a red, white, and blue swag, and I'll show you that in a picture. Um, and then I got these. I got different types. So one is like rain boots and umbrellas. Oh, hi, Summer. Summer. Okay, that's summer. Um, one is butterflies and bumblebees. Then you got the check, the buffalo check one. Then you got the little paws. You know why we got paws here. And then this one is a little cute rabbit. So I still have 10 of those rabbits left and I want to um, use them for decor in my house, but I want to do it as the seasons come. So I'm going to do a Halloween one. I'm going to do a spring one. And now somebody else has moment. <laughs> I can't. Okay. All right. We're just going to keep going with the guys. Sorry. All right. So also new for me is this wired jute. This is so cool. Like it's nice and thick wire too. So I did only pick up two of it, uh, two of them. It's seven and a half feet long. So, but it's wired. Isn't that really cool? Especially you can make those little swirly things and all kinds of things. If you make the, if you make the flowers, the jute flowers, you can make little swirly things like vines and stuff. So a lot of stuff you could do with it. Okay. And then my, my section now, this is all again from Lewis then. You know, we have a cricket. My husband, I'm going to say my husband has a cricket because I do not know how to use it. I don't, I can't, I don't know. Either it's my brain doesn't like to work because you have to do math and stuff and I hate that. So I don't really use it. So, but I did pick up these things for him. They are the little um, craft scrapers. So I got those. I did pick up the little um, picker. Now, I will help him take the vinyl off and stuff, so I know how to do that. So, I got that. And then, I also got that little spatula thing, which I like using, okay? And the little spatula. So, that's really cool. I, I really like to help him weed this stuff out. I can do that, so. And then, I found the transfer tape. This is so cool. This transfer tape is so cool. So it has a, like the little line, the grid on it. So I got that. I got a bunch of those, but then I found the small transfer tape, which is really cool because you don't have to cut it up, you know, if you have like just a small project, a cup or whatever. So I did find that. Um, and then I did pick up some of the pop-up uh, tape. So this is the double-sided tape. I did pick that up because I am making cards again. I have a thank you card because I did have uh, one of my sweet uh, subscribers sent me something for, for Snowflake passing. And it just reminded me so much of Snowflake. It was a little kitty cat and a few other things. But the cat was the most special thing for me. I loved it. It's in my car. So because if I put it up here, the other cats will get it and I don't want to get ruined. So, but it, it reminded me so much of her. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. So if anybody can tell me the difference because you guys that use crickets or any type of machine like that, please let me know what the difference is between removable removable vinyl and permanent vinyl what is the difference i wasn't sure so i bought one of each in black now this this is actually a pretty big roll it's 12 inches by 48 inches so i think it's pretty pretty sizable um and hopefully it's good i'm really hoping that it's a good good product for my husband so then I got another permanent black one and then I did get the permanent silver and see, oh, look how beautiful that is. That would be so pretty on a project. Isn't that pretty? So I did pick those up for him. And here's another one of the transfer tapes. Um, so I know that he's always looking for a good quality transfer tape. Um, and that is that bag. And then also I got um, some of these because I'm painting stuff. I'm going crazy over here painting stuff. All right. And then when Stefano was here, when Stefano was with me, 
um, we did find, this is so cool, we did find some more stamps, clear stamps. So I got the birds. I love the birds. I just, the hummingbird, look at the hummingbird. So cute. I hope that these stamp really well. And then I found some more, a dream catcher one. I didn't see this one before. So I was able to pick that up. I was very excited about that. Um, and then let me see what else I got. I love these. Are these not beautiful? These foil flowers. Oh my goodness. They had them in different colors too. They had them in gold and I think rose gold, but I didn't see the rose gold. I know they have rose gold, but I didn't see them, but I did pick up the silver one. And then <laughs> everything is fish in the sea right now. So my Dollar Tree at uh, Lewiston completely filled with them. So I decided I was going to pick up these because I wanted to make like a little, another one of those little boxes I do for my gnomes. And I, I was so hoping we were going to get the, the ocean one in the beach theme and we didn't. So we never got it, but I did get these just in case. All right. And so let's see what else we have here. I did pick up a pack of the paper. I love the paper scraps. This is a great product for me, especially if you're a card maker and you just need a little bit of paper for little projects that you're doing, like some metal dies and stuff like that. This is perfect. And there's so many good ones in there too. And, and nice sizes and a really good quality too. I've gotten them before and I really enjoyed them. All right. And since I do a lot of projects, like I'll have a lot of projects running at one time. So I love to pick these up and they have dividers in them. They have, they have dividers in them, you know? So if I'm doing like a couple projects, I could put everything that I'm using and I need to clear my desk. I could put everything I'm using in this, mark what it's going to be. That way I don't lose any of the pieces and the project gets to stay together. So I did pick up two pink ones and then a blue one. And then, like I said, they have a whole bunch of by the sea stuff. And this is red, white, and blue. But it's two different blues, like a navy blue and a sky blue. I still think it would be nice for 4th of July. So I did pick up four of these. Um, and let's see what else we got here. Okay, this is a different transfer tape. Um, it doesn't feel like there's that much in this one. Uh, no, they're both the same. For some reason, this is extremely light and this one isn't. So I got that transfer tape oh, also. for that, guys. You know, I always forget stuff. Okay, and then I got the glitter, the um, iron-on transfer. So it is just a piece. I think it's just one piece. It, it doesn't say anything how many pieces are in here. So I'm gonna open it quickly. It doesn't even say how big it is, which is sad, like the dimensions on it. Here. It is only one piece, so it's just one. So, you know, but I mean, if you're in a pinch, you know what I mean? Like this is good enough for at least one shirt, you know? So I did pick up this silver. I picked up a red glitter one. I can't get them apart. A red glitter one. And then I did pick up a blue glitter one, just in case we're going to do something like for the 4th of July, he can make me a shirt. So instead of red, white, and blue, it'll be red, uh, silver, and blue. This is the last thing I want to show you is the cow picture. It's so cute. Oh my God, it's so cute. I found this in Auburn, the Auburn um, Dollar Tree. It is so stinking cute. I love it. So that's going to go in my kitchen. But they did have some really nice brand new ones. I've seen so many brand new things at each Dollar Tree. It's unbelievable how much that they have. But also, I was at one of the worst Dollar Trees I have ever been to when Stefano was here. We were, it used to be my favorite. It's actually 40 minutes away from my house. It's so, far, you know, it's almost an hour, 40 minutes to an hour away from my house. So we took a special trip there for absolutely nothing because it was trashed, trashed. So it was the worst Dollar Tree I had ever been to and I'll show pictures of it. I mean, I'm sure you guys have all seen bad Dollar Trees too, but I was just really, like the floor was dirty, you know, and and it's a small Dollar Tree and it's a brand new one too, it's a brand new one. So I was really upset at, you know, like, um, 
even when we went there, like the ladies all were working together and they were third, they weren't right near the registers. They were just off talking, you know, just chit chatting with each other. We stood there, I'm not kidding, for like four minutes before they even realized we were up at the register with all the stuff already on their belt and everything. Um, they never said hello. They were not friendly at all. I mean, not at all. It was like really, it's not like a Dollar Tree that I, I'll, I don't think I'll go back there. I really don't. So anyway, all right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed that this part of the Dollar Tree. I had three parts. So I hope you enjoyed this part of the Dollar Tree. I will have that uploaded as soon as possible so that you can enjoy it and see all the new products I found. Um, I did find way more stuff, a whole bunch of makeup stuff. So the makeup one will be next. All right, guys, like I always say, somehow, some way, I'll have an amazing day. You make your day amazing. And together, friends, we'll have an amazing day. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.